اللهم يا من جعلت السحر ابتلاء فأنت برحمتك لن تنسانا وأنت جل جلالك الذي خلقت له الدواء فلكل داء دواء ولكل ابتلاء شفاء الحمد لله ولي المتقين أحق من عبد وأكرم من سؤل والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء سراجا منيرا أما بعد أحب في الله there is a lot of question people cannot answer this question it's a question where when will my condition change from the sunnah of allah rabbul izza is that the condition of his creation changes it doesn't stay stable no it is only him who is permanently his situation will never change the majesty the king of kings allah rabbul izza from his sunnah is that the condition of his creation changes a lot of people think changing oneself is changing clothes changing jobs changing houses changing cars no the situation of a human being and the creation of allah is that their situation or their condition changes it does not stay stable one of the example is that you will see an individual from a very healthy fallen ill his condition or his situation changes from healthy to illness from rich to poor from owned to down nobody owns him anymore from be married to not married this is the condition and situation i am talking about allah rabbul izza says inna allah la yughayyiru ma bi qawmin hatta yughayyiru ma bi anfusihim allah does not change the condition of the people until they change with what is within themselves this ayah speaks volume from his sunan is that you'll find people who are heedless and now they're remembering Allah Rabbul Izza engaged in remembering Allah Rabbul Izza this is a change another change is that you will see take example of Musa alayhi salam time when Pharaoh called upon all the magicians and the magician in their mind and their heart it was that a big changing is coming to their life a change where wealth they will become wealth and they will be closer to the king who was that time lanatullah firaun but allah decreed different when they went there allah changed them from kufr to iman to islam they saw the truth straight away submitted sincerely fully and allah change their situation their condition there to iman to islam this is the change i'm talking about there's a lot of people today who they are in the limbo they are not changing themselves they are going back and forth obedience disobedience obedient disobedience while in fact they know fully that they need to tilt and change how many people allah has have honored them and they stay honored how many people allah has given them strength and they went and transgressed and allah left them with a transgression how many people know the truth but they are swimming and indulging into disobedience how can you expect allah to change your condition when allah says in the quran wa hadaynahum we've guided him and allah goes and says ya ayyuhalladhina amanu alaykum anfusukum oh you believe you are responsible for yourself now if you're not taking hold of yourself and changing moving to a different direction and saying you know fees you know I need to change I need to submit fully
for Allah to change my condition. Your condition maybe was you're a poor person. Maybe condition was maybe you're very ill. Your condition maybe you were always failing from the exams. For Allah to change your situation, you need to fully submit. What are the ways and the condition to change? Repent fully to gain knowledge of Allah Rabbul Isa. Three, gather with the good people, not evil people. Not evil people. Masjids, Islamic codes, all these need, needs to be established. One of the biggest problem is that we bring problem to ourselves through sins and we don't repent from our sins. And these needs to be looked after. If you're conscious of Allah, Allah will take care of you. If you fully repent and fully submit, Allah Rabbul Izzah will take care of your situation. So the first step is repent towards Allah Rabbul Izzah and you will see what's going to happen to your life. Remember, fully tell it and change your condition. Your condition, if you're engaged with evil people, stay away from them. And back towards Allah. Fafirru ila Allah. Run towards Allah Rabbul Izzah. He's the only source of help. He's the only source of love. He's the only source that will guarantee you security. No another. So, Fafirru ila Allah. Run towards Allah Rabbul Izzah. This was a video of change. أبو يحيى فرم ذروقته وآخر دعوانا وسلامنا للمرسل والحمد لله رب العالمين حتى يتبين لهم أنه الحق